Hello, this is Priscilla Batel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery with a 12 by 24 inch canvas, an OXO omelet turning flip and fold paint spreading spatula. It's actually an omelet turning spatula. So I'm going to spread some of my mead and black paint, which is pretty thin and very black, to cover most of the bottom of this canvas. And if it dries, that would be okay with me because I'm going to put some green over it in the, uh, in the guise of some foliage. I'm going to go ahead and use some Amsterdam Black that I have mixed with just Floetrol and GAC 800 underneath my swipe at the top. So I might want to lead this all the way up, which means I might require a little more paint. But I'm going to cover most of the top, so it really doesn't matter. I have paint chip on me. We'll get that out of here because I'm pretty sure that that is enough. Like I said, I don't need much of a layer. I just need coverage on the bottom. I already blacked my edges with the meat and black and a little piece of silicone sponge which works really well for me and I recommend it. I should put one of those on my Amazon link. I have an Amazon link. It's underneath show more. It might be it might be anywhere now because I think YouTube just changed placement of uh, replaced icons with links. So I'm going to do puddles of paint. I think that looks fairly good. I'm going to probably come from here down with my spatula. I'm going to throw this spatula into the bucket. Make sure that everything is covered. Yeah, I'm going to wipe it off first so I have less paint in my bucket too. Okay, so I've picked out some colors that I really like. And I'm going to do... I hope I'm going to do... <laughs> I'm going to use Chantilly Lace. An Indian Spice. I might want a little bit more Chantilly Lace. I really have no idea exactly what I'm doing. But I did a swipe that had a flower or, or um, fireworks theme and I really liked how it turned out. But I wished the top had not been black. I wished it had been more Chantilly Lace. That is Orange Crush. This is saffron. These are prism pores. This is pink carnation. Same prism or prism pores. And I'm going to use jasmine, which is a primary element. And I might indulge myself in a little bit of wild orchid. I'm planning on doing this on two sides. And I thought I needed the longer spatula, but I'm thinking maybe not, I don't. Maybe the medium, the medium size. I think the medium size will work fine. So I'm going to put my Amsterdam Black and Australian Floetrol along the edge of my spatula. Making sure that paint chip is gone. No paint. Hey, come out. Looks like my tip might be a little plugged. There we go. Hopefully that is enough. That is exactly what I wanted to do, but I definitely need a scrape dish because I didn't get to... Maybe, just maybe, I'm going to take the paint that you can see on my spatula and find a way to use it. That's my Princeton Art Tool Kettle of Spatula. I'm 
I'm just going to take that paint and use it. And I don't know what to do about that little dollop, except for I know that that paint is drying pretty quick. Take the rest of that off of there. It looks like a stamen, I think that's the word. Clean the rest of that paint off, wipe it off on my silicone mat, wipe my tool off in case I want to use it again in a second. Put my rag bucket down so it's not tippy. And move on to the second side. Now hopefully I have enough curve. I kind of wonder if I could go like that. I'm really tempted. So, I'm going to try it. That's the wild orchid. This is some whispering wind that is a pr uh, primary element, I believe. This is some Prussian violet, another primary element that I need to open. Yeah, it's open now. I'm going to use a little black raspberry. I'm being called to a little bit of gold. Yeah, I really like that white top. That's what I had in mind. I don't think I can get the same result if I'm moving from a different direction. This is deep amethyst. This is blue velvet. Sorry about my head. And I guess I'm going to try and fake it by putting some Chantilly lace up there. Boy, I'm nervous. So this is going like that. I'm going to put some more jasmine in there too. That looks like there was a lump of something in there, and I better check that out right now if I have my tweezers. Yes, a large lump of something. Okay, I checked my... I stuck my finger in my paint, and it was drying nicely, too. So I need to go like that, so it's on the same side, basically. And hopefully it's enough. And I, again, have lots of paint left. And I think what that means is I'm going to do the same exact thing that I just did. Let it relax right off. I got a little dribble, which is okay. Now maybe, just maybe, I'll tip it down. Except for maybe I shouldn't have done that if I was going to do that. I'm still going to do it. I envision, I guess I envisioned it bigger, but I, I'm not done putting the foliage in, so we'll see what happens in a second. And I suppose there's always a possibility of putting more more petals in somehow, some way. All right, I'm going to do something with a straw. The black isn't going to really show up all that much. How do I like that? I kind of like that a lot. I'm going to put a little bit 
of Orange Crush in there. Because I can. I might do that more than once. I might do that a few times. I'm wobbly today. Straighten that out. Fill in the missing little bit. I like that. I kind of want to tip it over. See if it'll move some. Bows as my fandango. I might be able to blow my straw, blow use my straw to blow down into that. actually sealed up a little bit. Not 100% unsure on what, on what I'm doing, but I'm going to keep right on doing it. thought about putting other colors in there, but at right the moment it looks like I could just leave it right like it is. I'd kind of like to spread my leaves out. I suppose that means if I want to, I should find another green. That was Fandango. I said, this is green tea. If this will come out, this might be just what I want. Let's give it a bit of a shake. It's, it's a primary element. So I stopped squeezing near the end, and I'm going to try and integrate my... top. Do I want to do the same thing over here? I really want to just manipulate. width of that line. Well, I still can. Trying to make the bottom lot wider without mucking up too much. I really want some purple in there, but I suppose there's always tomorrow. I'm not, I haven't got enough space left on my computer to keep editing videos, so I might want to have to do what I do right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the purple. I can't help it. This is my wild orchid. I 
I don't know if that's good or bad. I did just stick my skewer into a bunch of paint though. That is maybe not as good as I'd like it to be. Just filling in that little gap. I am not 100% on anything. I'm just, just working it out little by little. I'm going to use some deep amethyst. I've got three minutes. Actually, two. That's not bothering me too much. Where's something I can mess with that? I'll just take whatever's handy. Try not to lean in the wet paint on the edge of the canvas again. Just want to draw that line out. I got a bump I don't want. Anyway, so that's pretty simple, and uh, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do to it. I kind of think I want a little bit more of the deep amethyst right along the edge. I hope I can get away with it. I just saw a paint chip fall into my green from where I don't know. Anyway, so... Sometimes my tweezers are just my best tool. Even the back end of them. I like that a lot. I'm going to put a little tiny, I hope a little tiny, dot of pink carnation into my orange crush. Try and shimmer this at you. If I can. I'm not even sure I can turn it sideways. Well, I tried. If you guys are still here, I love you. Check out everything below the video on, and in the description. And you are still here. Yay. No, I love you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Share if you're of a mind to. It's a help. Your comments keep my morale boosted. Your thumbs up make me happy. And my paint pouring recipe is below show more. Oh, something just shut my phone light off. So those cells are magnificent. That Chantilly lace is the bomb. Look at those cells. Those are just awesome. And uh, I don't mind. I might put one more dot in that black spot. Or it might just be the thing that you need to have it be weird. All right. I love you guys. Uh, I have 31 lists, a playlist with 100 videos. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And uh, my community board will show you tomorrow's video no matter what time it is. Questions are welcome and encouraged. My Amazon link has my two books on it. And uh, if you shop there, you'll find them. They're the first and the second hundred videos I made about paint pouring for YouTube. I love you guys, and I will see you anon, hopefully tomorrow. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>